What's up guys, welcome to today's video. So guess what, on the video today, what we're gonna go over is something I've been thinking a lot about lately, which is repetitions within training for haircutting. So thinking about haircutting in a little bit different way. We're always in such a hurry to get to the end result, whether it's cutting, color, uh, whatever it is, we wanna get to that end result, we wanna see that end result. Anytime we go to a classroom, we're looking for the end result, that's what we wanna learn. Well today what I wanna go over is the process it takes to get the the end result that you're looking for. A lot of people think about haircutting and they think, well, I wanna learn this haircut, I wanna learn this celebrity's haircut, I wanna learn this style, whatever it is, but there's so many fundamental techniques that go into learning how to do any end result or how to create your own end result. So I cut up this video so I could keep your guys' attention, but I want you to know that this whole process took me about 45 minutes. I cut one section of hair, for 45 minutes. I didn't care what the end result was. This isn't about that. I'm not cutting a bob, I'm not cutting a pixie. I'm cutting a line and then I'm cutting graduation. First thing that we do to start the repetitions is we work on parting hair. So there's a couple of little tricks that I'm gonna show you guys in there. And then what we do is we cut a line, then we cut a graduation. Then we go a little bit shorter, we cut a line, and then we go into graduation. Then we go a little shorter and a line and into graduation. And that's the whole key of this. Don't think about the end result. Think about the process it takes to get there. Be patient, practice, study what you're doing, every move that you make. I'm gonna show you guys some of the things that even when I watch the video back, when I watch myself cutting hair, that I wanna alter or fix or just adjust for the next time that I get the chance to cut hair again. So every time we cut hair behind the chair, we should be getting better than we were the previous time before. So practice those reps, be patient, focus on combing the hair every time you part, every time you pull a section, where are you pulling it to, why are you pulling it there, and what's it gonna do for you? So as we get into this uh, kind of exercise, notice that I comb the hair first, then I make my parting. So I get the hair going in the direction I want it to go, then I grab and I part the hair. Now I comb it back out and I'm gonna do it again. Notice my fingertip at the top of the comb. This is something I've been working on lately. I feel like it gives me more control um, rather than having my hand at the bottom of the comb. Now I don't always do this, but for this exercise, I wanted to get even better at it. So I just keep my fingertip towards the top of the comb to keep that control as I'm parting the hair. So I go straight down center back and then I go occipital bone over to behind the ear to create the section I'm gonna be working with this entire time. Also, I work on pushing hair away from me and parting it. That's the hardest thing to be consistent when you push hair away from your body. So this is something I like to practice as well. So I section off to the right hand side. I'm actually not even gonna do the right hand side today in this cut, I'm just gonna work on this left panel but I wanna section it all away. Work on sectioning first, then go in. Okay, so a little tip for sectioning away the side that you're not working on is to use the fine teeth of the comb, comb it up and away to behind the ear, and then slide your comb or your clip up underneath. That gets it out of the way, but also ready for when you go through and uh, cut that side. So now, notice my fingertip is on the tip of the comb, and I draw my line across. I get a nice, consistent, horizontal line, but that doesn't mean that I'm done because now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna comb it out and I'm gonna redo that section. So I look for the balance, I look and assess how I did, and now I go back through and I do it again. This is the, the cool thing about having a mannequin and doing these repetitions is getting better at these small things, these fundamentals. Um, you don't have a client waiting for you. You don't have a client in your chair that's rushing you and you can actually sit there and get better. So. I go through, I get the parting. When I feel comfortable with that, I move on. So now I'm just doing a one length haircut, um, finger elevation. So I'm just combing it down right at that neck area. You could go even a little bit longer if you wanted to. And I go through and I cut the line and I try to focus on keeping my finger angle matched up with my parting, right? So it's parallel to the parting. And as I work through, I just try to keep that consistent. So I'm thinking about those two things in my mind. That's the great thing about cutting the one length and not the graduation first. You're cutting a blunt line. All you really have, you don't have to focus on elevation. You just really focus on finger angle and the cleanliness of those sections. Now, a lot of you guys might, in your mind, start to get like impatient and think, I'm just gonna take that whole section down. Don't do that. Work through it, the tiniest sections possible because the tinier the section, the more repetitions you get in parting the hair, in cutting the hair, in working on your finger angle. So um, that's the whole point of this video is to, to just really 
hold you guys like to think about when you have a mannequin or even if you have time in the salon or you have a model to just take those smaller sections so that you, you're not rushing yourself and you're getting better at haircutting. So now we're gonna work graduation. This is gonna be a diagonal forward line. We're gonna start with diagonal forward and by the end when we get to the ear, we'll be working horizontal. So I go through, I start my guideline and then I work diagonal forward slightly at more of an angle and then basically what I'm trying to do is match up with that parting by the end. So what I like about taking the diagonal forward partings is that it, it gives me more comfort in my body positioning. So if I go vertical, I feel a little stretched. Um, so I get more inconsistencies cause I'm not comfortable. So with this, uh, working that diagonal forward kind of in pie shaped sections up to the behind the ear, I, I feel like it works really well. Plus you're working on shape because you're working horizontally. Um, and the diagonal kind of helps with your elevation as well. So I'll just work my way all the way through again. My finger angle is mimicking the party. And the last bit of advice before I speed this video up and just kind of show you the reps that I did and how I went shorter with it is the tension that you work with throughout. So the last thing that I want you guys to focus on, I'm using the fine teeth of the comb for this. Um, that doesn't mean I would always use the fine teeth of the comb. If they had uh, curlier hair or a lot of calyx, I probably wouldn't use the fine teeth. Um, I'd use a lot less tension, but with this, don't be too tight with the tension. So notice as I bring it down and then the one thing I, I want to work on next time when I do this, cause now that I'm watching myself is watch how it bounces when I pull my tension, right? So when I'm trying to be light with the tension, sometimes it starts to kind of react as I go to cut. I want to keep that more consistent. So there's a little bit of bounce in there. That's actually better than the last one. But as I'm working through, I notice that sometimes I bounce a little bit and that's what I want to work on. So next time I do these repetitions, I'll go in and I'll really focus on that as I work through it. So let me see. So yeah, a little bounce right there that I want to fix. So that kind of stuff drives me nuts in my head. So I don't know about you guys. Uh, so I hope you guys get some benefits from this video. I'm going to speed things up. I want to get through it. I want to show you guys, you know, all the different repetitions that I took and how short I took this. Here we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or if there's a video that you guys wanna see in the future, I'd love to make it for you. So let me know what challenges you guys are having in the salon so I can create some more videos that cater to what you guys are looking for. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, share this video with all of your hairdresser friends. Thanks for watching.